Welcome to the Visually Logical Podcast, where you'll learn how to use Logic Pro with the Apple built-in screen reader, VoiceOver. Our host is Antonio DeLillis. Hello, good morning, everybody. I hope you are okay, and I hope you're ready for another tutorial. So, here we are in Logic, and by the way, today we are going to discuss how to quick punch in Logic Pro. Now, this operation, in theory, is really easy. But as you will see, there are some things that we need to consider. So let me show you this. I got a very extremely simple project. One bar, one beat, one division, one tick. Back to square one, so to the beginning of the project. And let me play the project for you. It's short, do not worry. And it goes like this. Three beats, four. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Frank. Happy birthday to you. One bar, one beat, one. Nice and easy. Okay? Now, you got a guitarist, a singer coming to your studio, or you want to do this, you know, yourself, whatever. Uh, you recorded something. You're happy with most of the things. There is one phrase, one syllable one, you know, bar, whatever, that you want to fix. Uh, quick punch comes really handy because it allows you to play your track and to record, uh, you know, on the off-fly. So while you're playing, so that, that's quick, that's easy. So theory says that first of all, we need to check what's going on in the menu bar so vom menu bar apple look for record record and make sure record so check that one make sure count it metronome tick use musical grid listen to the next one tick allow quick punching command allow quick punch track so by default that um option is ticked but yeah just you know make sure that is ticked okay and the theory says that once that's ticked track one audio I only have, so I'm the tracks header now. Out of tracks. Tracks in tracks time rule tracks header. Here. In tracks header, track one. And I only have one track. Track one. So, as long as the theory says that, as long as you are in the tracks header, in the track that you want to uh, record on, or use the quick punch on, you're set to go. And the key commands for the quick punch are easy. So you have to start the playback, so with the spice, sp space bar. And then when you want to record the syllable, the phrase, anything, just press, press the letter R on your keyboard. And that's it. After that, you got two options. You can either stop the playback with the space bar on, or you can press shift R to continue the playback while stop recording. Okay, so let's try the, 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 the latter. So the sequence will be space bar, then the letter R, and then shift R to stop the quick punch. Uh, let me start from bar three. Two bar, three bars, one bit, one, two, Happy two bar. Happy bird. Yeah, from there. And I want to change Happy birthday, dear Frank, to happy birthday, dear John. All right. Ready? So here it, here it comes. Happy bars, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Frank. Four divisions, 207. Okay. Let's have a listen. Three. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, dear Frank. Okay. I messed up, and I messed up, let me tell you why. Because when I pressed the letter R, I could hear a gap, and I got distracted. And that's why I wasn't... I didn't say John, I said, I, I kept saying Frank, and I was out of... Uh, tempo. Happy birthday, so birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Can you hear that gap? 
full to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. Yeah. So. Undo. Let me undo. Let me check that we are. Six bars, one beat, one to you. Where we were. Happy birthday, dear Frank. Eight, happy seven. birthday. Ha Six. Okay. So. Now we are back to square one. Okay. What happened? This is where we all stumble or stumbled so far. Because again, if you check the Logic Pro manual, it only says, yeah, playback, press R, and when you're done, either spacebar or shift R. And then when you do that, that gap is there. So you hear for a fraction of a second, I don't know, 30, 50 milliseconds, you hear that gap, and that is off-putting for whoever wants to record. What's the issue? The issue is that, and listen to this really carefully because this is really important, we need to arm the truck if we want to use the quick punch. So, we can do this uh, in many different ways. Let me show you in the truck header. Track one. You have to interact with the truck. In track. And you have to make sure that the R button or record button is turned on. So zero zero audio mute solo and record enable and ticked. Record enable and ticked. So if we view your space there, ticked. That's how you do it. And if you check, so record enable ticked. Now it's ticked. Uh, you can do this also in the channel strip in the mixer, or you can use a key command, which is Control R. So if I do it, listen. Record enable track off. Now it's off. So if I move Input monitor record enable and ticked. Is unticked. And if I do again control R. Record enable track on. So if I check. So record enable ticked. Ticked. Out of track. Now, let me try the same that we did before. So let, let me check where are we with to Five you. Five bucks. Happy birthday to you. So let's start from there, shall we? So again, the sequence would be space bar, R, and shift R. Ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear John. Happy birthday to you. Five Let's bars. Have a listen. Happy Four bars. birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear John. Happy birthday to you. Okay, I've done it, but I had to finish John a little early. So let me undo. Undo. And try again. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear John. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear John. Happy birthday to you. Five bars, one big. You see? But now it works. There are no gaps anymore. There are some issues with the breaths but you can fix that in the editing process. So, you see, in short, we can do it. Now, once you do this, as always, you know, if you're used to, you know, do other ways like uh, auto punch, you might want to, you know, apply some crossfades, adjust, yeah, some edits here and there, some fade ins, fade outs, you know, adjust the breaths, etc. But it works and it's there and it's nice and works fine and it's easy and that's what it matters so but before we go let me check another thing with you so before i only had one track remember zero track out of so let's go to tracks tracks in track tra tracks header tracks header in tracks and let's check track one, track one. audio one zero tra zero track and then you got zero track one audio one tick zero so when you do quick punch and I think it does the same with the auto punch. Uh, Logic is creating a take folder. So remember, do some edits after you've done the quick punch check, if it's okay, do some edits, apply some crossfades, and maybe you might want to flatten merge with option U. Like Two bars, five bars, track one, audio track one. Or and now I got one track like before. So guys, yeah, we can do it. It can be done. It's nice and easy, and as always, everybody, I hope it was helpful, and until next time, 
Have a wonderful day. <laughs> bye now. Bye bye. Thanks for joining us on our podcast. We hope you found our content insightful and thought provoking. Before we go, we'd like to thank all our listeners for their invaluable support. If you enjoyed our podcast and want to contribute to its growth, please consider making a donation via PayPal to delilisantonio at gmail.com. That's D for Delta, E for Echo, L for Lima, I for India, L for Lima, L for Lima, I for India, S for Sierra, A for Alpha, N for November, T for Tango, O for Oscar, N for November, I for India, O for Oscar at gmail.com. Thank you so much for listening.